Hi everyone, welcome to Marika Creations. Today I will share with you two high-end jewels. I came across two beautiful decor items online. I thought I could recreate them for a whole lot less. So, stay tuned for this. For my first DIY, I saw this beautiful ladder shelf unit online for a price of 65 pounds sterling. And I will use what I have on hand already, these scrap pieces of wood strips, and not in a great shape, they are a little bended. And I have this wooden dowel as well. I will make two ladders of this. So I start out by measuring how large I want it, how tall I want it. This will be probably a little bit smaller than the one on the picture. I just uh, work with what I have. So they are 60 centimeters in length. These are the side pieces and I will use the wooden dowel as the steps on the ladder. So I just cut them to size with my miter saw, like that. Then I just sand off the edges to remove all the splinters. And these dowels, they are 22 centimeters each. I will have three on each ladder. And it will look something like this. Now I need to measure exactly where I need to drill holes for the dowels. This video is also part of a challenge, Cheek for Cheap, hosted by Christy at Christy Creates. And if you're not familiar with Christy and her channel just yet, be sure to jump on over right after this video and check out what she has to offer. I will leave a link to her channel down in my description box, along with a link to the playlist of this challenge, so you can get loads of inspiration. My hubby is crafting with me today, so he is drilling for me to, at the same time, a hole big enough to fit the dowels. When we insert them, I just put some wood glue on the end and it's a quite tight fit, so you need to hammer them in with a wooden hammer like so oops <laughs> there we go just hammer them in place and do the same on the other side just fit them into the holes and hammer them into place and put them aside to dry for a little bit On top where the ladders are meeting, I will just um, cut off the, the top there, as you see me do here, at a slight angle, a 30 degree angle I chosen there, just cut it off, I hold it in place, my hubby does the sewing like that and we do the same on the other side i use the tiny piece that we have cut off as a template on the other side much easier much quicker and then just cut it off like so same on the other ladder and now they fit well together they are a little wobbly my ladders because uh, the wood strips are not quite straight but that's okay with me. I love the rustic feel of it. And it looks like this for the moment. And on top, we will put this hardware, 
right there with tiny little screws to keep it in place and I have these old galvanized trays I will use one of them as a shelf on my ladder unit but first I will clean it properly and decorate it and here it is looking super cute I think at the top shelf I just used a scrap piece of uh, laminate flooring and look at that I didn't need to paint it rusty or anything it, it's just perfect as is and the feet I cut them in a slight angle as well so tell me what do you think I think it turned out great you could of course put a third shelf in place if you want to so $90 versus mine approximately $6 for my second DIY I looked up online a big chess piece they are sold as a pair for $70 but I will only do the king my inspiration is this piece this crown that will be on top of my chess piece and I have a plate a wooden candle holder some glasses two of them like that and uh, then a glass jar and a metal plate and on top of all that I will put my crown and it looks like so so all that together mine will be much taller than the picture the one in the picture is 33 centimeters and mine will be 52 centimeters i start off by taking off the feet of my candle holder like that there is some unevenness on the bottom there that I will address I will just saw it and sand it off that piece right there it has to come off time to assemble my piece and I will do that with a very strong adhesive but I will not put everything together at the same time I will start with two pieces and two pieces the bottom part and the candle holder you just saw and now the glass is put together wipe off the excess and then the last part with the glass jar onto the plate like that and on top of that the crown and I will set them aside to cure for a little bit and then attach the three pieces together. If you're new to my channel, hi, I am Marika and on this channel I do lots of DIYs, thrift flips, trash to treasure, dupes, uh, renovation of my home, some pottery, some painting, anything creative. Please join me, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and let's be friends. The next day and it looks like this quite tall isn't it majestic even look at that can you imagine black spray paint on top of this can't wait to see what that will look like let's go do it and here I am ready to spray paint and I use a matte black spray paint and I applied two coats to get the coverage I was after. But I realized once spray paint had dried that I was missing something where the glasses meet, the joint there. It didn't look pretty, so I have these pearls that I will put right there just cut it to size and then hot glue it into place like you see me do 
here. And I do that all the way around. And then a little further up, I will put another strand of pearls right there on the top. Cut that size and hot glue it into place. And then I will just spray paint it black to match the whole piece. And then I'm done really. If you like this video and videos just like this, be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button for more inspirational videos. I upload videos once, twice or sometimes even three times a week. It will really support my channel and I am so grateful for your support. And here it is in my living room looking fabulous I think it's majestic the king of the chess game tell me what you think of my creations today did you have a favorite something you would recreate yourself let me know in the comments 35 dollars for the one online and absolutely nothing for mine so if you want to see more of my videos straight away just hit that uh, DIY playlist icon appearing on the screen right here just click and enjoy thank you so very much for watching see you soon again in my next one until then take care Bye.